<laughs> Fresno State's Dr. Two Trees was originally drawn to Guri's Grub House for its craft beer selection. But as a practicing vegan, he quickly found other reasons to keep coming back. It seemed to me like Guri's was really um, focusing on a quality, local, sustainable product. But he stopped supporting Guri's when he learned that one of their burgers now features foie gras, an enlarged duck liver traditionally achieved by force feeding. In 2004, a law was passed making it illegal to produce or sell foie gras in the state of California. But this past March, a federal judge ruled that ban unconstitutional. And the controversial item has been popping up on California menus ever since. It's, it's a difficult issue. Andrew Fenton is an assistant professor in Fresno State's philosophy department. He has wrestled with the dilemma of foie gras as part of his research on animal philosophy. For foie gras ducks, uh, it's, it's very difficult to get a definitive, it's clearly causing them so much suffering that we ought to stop because animals adapt. But according to chef Megan Beck, a lot of popular opinion is fueled by old ways of thinking and outdated practices. She says that she buys her foie gras from a progressive forward thinking farm. They use a cage free approach. Um, they also don't use the force fed tubes. It's more of a bottle system and they're simply not stopped from eating, but they are certainly not force fed. And how does Dr. Tutri's feel about this progressive new approach? He's definitely willing to learn more. It would definitely influence whether or not I would, whether or not I would go back to Guri's.